Hi everyone. This week, I'll show you my traps and tribulations with bending and installing drywall on the barrel vault. I am installing two layers of quarter inch sheetrock that I am pre-bending on a form I made specifically for this purpose. So let's see how it all turns out. Last week, I wrapped up the framing for the barrel vault from a hang in the ribs to running so horizontal purlins. This was the culmination of several days of work and several videos explaining the process, so go back and watch those if you're interested in the process of framing a barrel vault. So let's go back in time just a bit. The first job was to install sheetrock on the walls that are on the ends of the barrel vault. I did this before installing the purlins, which gave me some greater tolerance for inaccuracies when cutting these sheets of drywall. By installing it before the purlins, I give myself the thickness of the purlins and of the drywall that will lay on the barrel vault to hide the end of this drywall instead of having to come back later and fit the sheets perfectly to the curve of the barrel vault. So I first needed to install some plywood backers to screw the edge of the sheets to. I can then work out a layout for the gable wall, keeping in mind to use compressed edges in the field to minimize mud buildup. To measure these curved pieces, I first figure out where I want the seams to land, then I can project the lines from there to figure out where the curves start and end. After laying those points out on a sheet, I can use this jig I made quickly to connect the dots. Then it's rinse and repeat for the other pieces. I can then work out the shape of the pieces that need to go onto the closet walls. I'm using a full sheet for those and need to make sure that the edges toward the center of the room follow the corner studs as tightly as possible. The rest will most likely get buried behind some framing or the wall furring I still need to do. I also ran sheetrock over the closet doors and the entry door. Now let's talk about this bending jig. I've seen two ways of bending drywall. The first one is to wet both sides of the sheet, wait about five minutes, and install the sheet while it's still flexible from the moisture. The second way was to repeat the wetting process, but to let it rest on a curved form and let it firm up before installing. The second way seems safer for me to install by myself and overhead. So this jig helps me accomplish that. I started with one sheet to test that everything was going to work out as intended. It seemed good so I loaded sheets onto the jig and let them dry in the correct shape for the barrel vault. I am running the first layer of sheetrock horizontally. This turned out to be the easy way as the sheetrock has an easier time bending in this axis. I attach a 2x4 to the bottom of the framing to rest the sheets onto, then work my way up screwing the sheets on.
decided to cut the sheets in half for the other portion to make them more manageable. This turned out to be a pretty good idea. As you might notice, my purlins layout is off a bit, 
so I have to come back and trim the sheet so that the edges land on center of the framing. The first layer is on, let's do it again in the other direction. I am using the second layer to cover as many of the first layer seams as possible. But as I found out, bending sheets along the long edge is harder than the other way around. I guess the factory edge, um, the compressed edge, really adds some rigidity in that direction. It is also harder to install full sheets this way as I quickly found out. The first sheet was a real learning experience as always. I can't just screw the sheet in anywhere to hold it in place because I have to work my way up making sure the sheet is contacting the sheet below continuously. So I have to make sure that I hold the sheet up one way or another as I screw it in from the bottom. I decided to glue the back of the sheets to the first layer, hoping to create a stronger bond. I'm not sure this was necessary, but I figured it wouldn't hurt. I then filled up the gaps with some Durban as well as started to fill some of the compressed edges to get a more even substrate for the plaster base coat. Next I wanted to tape and mud the inside corners. I'm using a plastic flexible corner tape for these. This stuff is actually pretty neat. You can rip one of the sides off the tape and then it will conform to any shape you need it to. I apply a liberal amount of Durabond to both sides of the corner and then bed the tape in and add more mud to even everything out. Lastly, I added a bit of tape in the corners above the closet doors. You might be concerned that I'm not taping the joints on the barrel vault, but my plan is to apply a complete layer of mesh tape over the whole surface to remedy that and to bond that mesh tape to the Structolite base coat which should really prevent the whole thing from cracking. 
So this is probably a good place to stop for this week as I'm starting to get into the preparation for the plaster work that's ahead. Next week, I'll show you how I got the plaster base coat on and all the prep that went into that. So go back and check out the rest of the videos in this series. Thanks for watching, and now get back to work.